The use of wind goes a long way back. Let's turn the page. Using the wind for energy is a good idea. It's free, it's clean, it's powerful, it works around the globe and around the clock. There's wind machines out there. They're converting wind speed into energy. They're state of the art for today. But who's turning who? World War II had some state of the art equipment. The latest and greatest will usually become obsolete. Is a propeller blade the best way to collect wind energy? The tip turns fast and the core turns slow and a bunch of air current passes between the blades. So I say no. What about a machine that's cheaper to build and better at converting rotational force at lower wind speeds? A machine which uses leverage and torque. These prototypes are real primitive. They're just showing the concept that a machine will rotate if there's wind trapped against an arm and then pretty much a free, uh, drag free side where it flies up wind and waits its turn to get trapped against an arm. There's a lot of torque, so they're kind of hard to stop, and that's a good thing. I used to windsurf and I noticed that when turning a windsurfer, you step around the front and get on the other side of the sail. And that's what gave me the idea for the wind wheel. One side of the machine has to move because the sail surfaces are blocking the arms. Then the wind hits the back side of the sail, it flips open and flies up wind. Foot pounds of torque are relative to the length of the arms and the machine works best with a load on it. This is the basic concept, but there have been a few things added for my patent, and it's time to build a prototype for testing output at different wind speeds and wind loads.